Everybody, yes, I'm Tim Scott Hassel. I'm not going to describe uh, Zenodo, because I think that's well enough known in this community. I'm just going to describe a few of the extensions that we did within the uh, Open Air Connect uh, project. <coughs> so, to support research objects, we already had a, um, a rich selection uh, of different types that you could upload, and for some of them, we'd already in implemented the concept of subtypes. So, for instance, uh, publications. Uh, where uh, the types of different articles and other, other subtypes are, are pretty well standardized across many communities, uh, we already have that in there. In, for instance, also in images here, where when selecting an image and you're uploading something, you can, uh, you're presented with the different image subtypes that, uh, that are generally uh, common across uh, all the different communities. But what we did um, for Open Air Connect was extend this to other products, like uh, Carol said, specifically the, the software and the other category, which is the, the catch-all for all other research objects. So to do that, um, well, before I get there, to once you've uploaded it, uh, in the search interface, you also see these subtypes. Um, you can see a small, oops, a small plus next to the uh, the, the type, and if you expand on that when searching or when doing faceted searching, uh, you can see specific uh, products, types, and subtypes. So, extending that to the uh, to the in the connect to each of the specific communities, um, you now see in the upload form. And uh, as Tyler said, we've put this in production already. Um, in the upload form, if you select a specific uh, community to upload to. Then when you, uh, when you select one of these specific uh, types here, software, then you get an open air specific subtype list that uh, drops down. So the community has defined what are the, uh, the subtypes it wants to use for the specific community. They're presented and you can select uh, already on the upload. And this will also be dis uh, displayed in the, the search capacity. So that's for uh, the software. For other, this is the, the catch-all, it's much more complicated and each of the communities here uh, is defining a, a rich uh, set of different subtype products <coughs> that are exposed there. The other thing that we've been developing uh, in parallel uh, is the uh, statistics reporting, uh, the gathering of statistics and the adding of statistics to the, uh, to the records pages here. And I think it's been mentioned already, the, the problems that we have uh, are, are collecting the right statistics grouped by the right uh, uh, community, by the right versions and things like that. So working within Open Air Connect, we're getting uh, experience with how we should be grouping this stuff together. So already in releasing the first version of statistics, we started to group by uh, versions of the records. So you can see uh, the downloads and views on all versions and on this particular version of the record. Uh, but we have to extend that to make it more flexible. What information you pass up to the dashboard, and you can select more, uh, more uh, fine grain what you're exposing. We also expose, uh, we also did, developed and uh, released during this uh, work schedule the, uh, the versioning. Uh, and as I said, this was linked to how we uh, how we do the, uh, the reporting. Um, so you can see each of the versions, uh, and in the downloads. And the views, as I said, you can now see uh, the statistics per, uh, per versioning. But all of these concepts are ex important to expose uh, to make open science work. But the more and more we expose these, the more that we're running into uh, uh, the problems of how to handle them in a truly open science world. And uh, I just ex uh, give you an illustrative example here. So very recently, uh, last month, the Astro uh, community, astrophysics community, released a paper which tried to summarize uh, the, the AstroPi uh, project, which is the, uh, the, the Python code base for uh, an analyzing uh, astrophysical uh, objects. It's a very complex, rich uh, code base, uh, and in their, uh, in their uh, reference section here, uh, you see uh, 50 or so different products. <coughs> so you have references, which is very good to uh, DUI. So 23 references to, uh, to Zenodo objects there, where software has been stored in there. But some of them are to specific versions. Some of, some of them are to the concepts. Um, and basically none of this 
is reflected back on the record pages of those things. So the interlinking that Paolo was talking about is very rudimentary at the moment and is not a common practice. So the fact that we're now getting the building blocks means that a whole uh, new uh, code of conduct, code of uh, practice has to uh, happen in the, in the research communities. But we're still, the, if you look here specifically at one of the very uh, popular, most used uh, packages, so Matt Lockley, Matt um, it's not given as a link to a DOI, it's not given as a link to the software itself, it's given as a link to a 2007 publication that described it. And that publication predated all of the other publications, uh, all of the other uh, facilities that we've just now made available, which means that if you go to that publication, um, in fact it does have a DUI, but that was never used in the paper, which unfortunately is another uh, citation uh, loss. Um, but if you go to the paper, of course, it doesn't refer to the software that we're now making available within the Open Science Framework. Um, so if you go to the software which is in Zenodo and does have a DUI, um, there's no link this way, there's no link that way, uh, and the, as I said, there was no link this way. So we, we're making building blocks available, but it's far from common practice to use them cor correctly, even in a community that is very advanced, is talking about its uh, open software, putting orchids on everything, putting uh, links wherever they can. It's still not, uh, it's, it's still not perfect. So finally, a few other developments that we're still working on uh, behind the scenes that will be coming out uh, within the, the Open Air uh, Framework, the Open Air Advance and Open Air Connect. Um, so specifically, the, the Scholar Explorer, Scholar Explorer that uh, Paolo is describing in other presentations, this is going to be gathering all of those missing links and we're going to be putting them back into things like Zenodo, which can then expose them out through the, uh, the community. So this will be automatically uh, uh, completing the loop for at least the stuff that we can uh, mine and discover. <coughs> we'll be releasing uh, new versions of the statistics where uh, we will be aggregating them via the communities as well, and then that will be fed back up through. Um, and we'll be adding some more community extensions. We did a lot of work in aligning the concepts between the dashboards, uh, what they needed to expose on the dashboard and what we had in Zenodo and Zenith. But we'll be giving functionality so more people can manage the same uh, communities uh, within Zenodo. And within a community, you can, you can define sub-communities. So you can already do some aggregation of the products at the, uh, the Zenodo level as well. So that's uh, in the pipeline.